Okay, you're on and your sound is on. Keep in mind that the game is a little bit quieter than the intro here. That's perfect. Okay. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, this is Millionaire. This is a game show. Uh, it's based on the real Millionaire. You've probably seen the version that I had last year. Sorry, that tilted me a little. And we have all new contestants this time. All new questions. You know, drama, action. Hopefully someone might win the million again. If you remember last time, Paragus Rants was our first millionaire. Since then, I've uh, made the questions a little bit harder. Just so you know amp up the difficulty a little. Uh, we are going to have a mode only a mode on during the rounds, just so people don't cheat or anything. Uh, so yeah, our first contestant today is going to be Wolsk, I believe, if he did not fall asleep in his chair. Are you with us, Wolsk? Uh, oh, he needs to join. Wolves, can you hop in here? There you are. Oh, you are way too quiet. Oh. Uh, there, can you talk again? There he is. Yeah, testing. We're on a live game show. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, let's start up the round. So there has been as well some changes to the set. Uh, you'll probably notice them immediately. <laughs> nice nice mask. So um, okay. there is a we've actually invited an actual audience this time. Uh, it's not just an empty studio. I like their hats. Mm, yes. I like their hats. Um, I'm gonna make the game a little louder now because it's quieter than the intro. But yeah, so here we are. I'm actually nervous. <laughs> if the questions <laughs> they are, are harder. a bit harder. Uh, we'll see how well you can do. So you are the right. the blacksmith, I suppose, today, Wolsk. Um, so here mm -hmm. are your questions. You can go up to a million dollars. There are 15 rounds. Uh, there's a checkpoint at a thousand dollars and thirty-two thousand. If you get there, you're guaranteed to leave with that amount of money. You may choose to walk away at any point if you wish to, uh, you know, salvage your real fake dollars that you've won. Um, you may phone a friend at one point, which is to bring someone into the Discord channel for thirty seconds. Wait, wait, wait. what do you mean, real <laughs> fake? Yeah. Am I not actually? They're fake dollars, dollars, but they're real fake dollars. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take it. You can use the 50-50 to take away two of the wrong answers on a question. 
or you can ask our lovely Twitch chat and they will vote on the answer. Okay. Well, I think that's all the intro we need. Um, we're gonna try to get Walsk a million dollars. We'll see how far he can get. So here we go. This is your question for a hundred dollars. What does IWBTG okay. stand for? I won't bury the grandma. Oh, God. I want to be the guy. I will buy the grapes. I went by the grocery. <sighs> well, my grandma died oh. last year. Um. Okay. She didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I haven't gone to the grocery store recently, so it wouldn't be that one. Um, I do actually need to buy some grapes. Oh, no. We just ran out. Uh, I just had the last of it yesterday. So you want to use your 50-50 then? So... <sighs> I'm... I feel like it's got to be between buy the grapes and be the guy. Though I am already a guy. Alright. I'm gonna lock in B. I wanna Old be the choice. guy. Final answer. He's right. There we go. A hundred dollars. Alright. Ooh, we made it. Okay. Two hundred dollar <sighs> question. Here we go. What is the name of the girl who stands on the right side of countless avoidance fights? Hatsune Miku. Virgin Mary. Lady Gaga. Okay. Elizabeth the uh -huh. second. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I, I'm trying to, to maintain the serious <laughs> voice, but man, those are good options. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well. I know Lady Gaga has performed with Hatsune Miku. Uh, so those two immediately come to mind as possibilities. Uh, I don't think it's the no. Virgin Mary. Um, no, because there's a lot of dojins. So, if I were to choose... Um... And I guess I just gotta go for a Hatsune there Miku go. A. Final answer. $200. Congratulations. <laughs> yes! $300 question. What color is the triple jump star in Nang? Black? Rainbow? Green? Or yellow? Oh man. Well, my buddy Geezer. If I know one thing about him. It's that he loves rainbows, especially if they contain an exclamation mark after. Um, I played Nang. I don't remember anything related to the color green in that game. Um, I feel like it's got to be between black and rainbow. So uh, I'm gonna go with D, <laughs> yellow. Final That's answer. right. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> for a second there. Five hundred dollars. Uh, Five hundred dollar question that is. A block and four spikes together usually built goes by what name? Quattro formaggi, square, shuriken, or rotato? <laughs> Quattro formaggi. <laughs> Um, well, alright, so I've played Brute of a Man, um, and the first stage of that game does have a block with four spikes together, all on the same one 32 by 32 oh, nice. area, and, uh, they do form a square facing different directions. You know what? I think you're right. Um, 
However, it does say a block and four spikes. And I don't think those spikes are actually on top of the blocks. They're generally just next to them. <sighs> I feel like it's... I'm thinking, I'm thinking shuriken. See? Final Is answer. right? That's right, $500. All right, Wolves. Coming up next is your $1,000 question. If you answer this correctly, you will be guaranteed to leave with at least $1,000. Which of these is not a common method of saving the game? Pressing X, pressing S, touching, or shooting? Okay, well it says a common method and not a good method, so S saves are definitely in there, along with mm. touch saves. Um, it doesn't mention Z saves, and Z is right next to the letter X. That's true. Uh, I guess those are basically shoot saves plus S saves, though. But I don't... I, I feel like X is just not generally used for saving the game. I have seen it before, and I mean, if you did rebind the keys, you totally could, but I gotta go with A, pressing X, final answer. Correct, thousand dollars, and the audience is clapping wow. for you, congratulations. With that amount of money, I can bury my grandma. Oh. Okay, congratulations, you've won a thousand dollars. We're now going to move into the slightly more difficult round. This is the second third of the game. This will last from 2,000 to 32,000. If you reach 32,000, you are at another checkpoint. Uh, again, you have your three lifelines. Right. So, let... Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot, this is the part where you say something. We didn't do that the first round last time. Oh, oh, the introduction. Oh, yeah. oh, the introduction. What do you got to say, Walsk? Well, well three years old. when I was three years old, um, I discovered I want to be the guy. Kayan pulled me from the river, and he said, Walsk, my name was Walsk at the time. It still is. Yeah. He said, Walsk, someday you'll be a great fan game player. And he took me into his arms. He brought me into his home, raised me as his own. And unfortunately, that never happened. But I feel like one of these days, I might become a great fan game player, thanks to the love and kindness of... Of, of who? <laughs> you cut out for a second. Yes, yes, Kane. Kayan. Kayan okay. Nas Nasaki, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that was touching. Very touching. And uh, I think everyone's rooting for you to win the million now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I need this for my dad. For for my dad. dad. And his grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandma. <laughs> Alright, let's play for $2,000. <laughs> In Kill the Guy, the player must collect coins of what color to destroy blocks? Red, green, yellow, or blue? Oh, so now we're reaching the questions where you actually need some, some specific knowledge. Now... <clears throat> I've played... I want to be the Crimson? And the final boss does contain all four of those you know colors. What? That might be an Easter egg. I mean, Kill the Guy and Crimson are both fan games. Very right. Um. What the f now I know that there are two different types of coins in the game that you collect. One would be orange. The other would be blue. And orange isn't up there. So I feel like it's gotta be blue. D. Final answer. Right answer, $2,000. 
question. Yes. yes. Four thousand dollar question. Someone is calling me and I hate it. Okay. I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> <laughs> The Mega Man block sound in most fan game engines goes by what name? Sound Mega Man, Sound Trigger, Sound Zoom, Sound Block Change. Ooh. 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 I have very minimal game maker knowledge. And just immediately, I can I can rule out Zoom. That one's pretty obviously not out there. Now block change seems like a stupid decision for a name, which would leave Mega Man and Trigger. But I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I'm going to phone a friend because I know that there are people who are much better with Game Maker okay. than I am. You're going to use your phone a friend lifeline? <laughs> I am okay. going to use my phone a friend. Who are you going to bring in today? You know, there's one person who I love and know knows a lot about Game Maker. It's going to be Mr. Patrick GH3. choice. All right, Pat, uh, if you can't join Live Runner, which I'm sure you can. Actually, yeah, you're an admin. Just join the channel if you can. If, there he is. Hello, Pat. Hello. Oh, uh, hey, Pat. First off, Fools, come, my condolences <laughs> for your grandmother. <laughs> Thank, thank you. All right, Pat. Thank you. So, Walsk is having trouble right. with a question so, here. It might. And he needs your help. He's going All to right. read off the question, and you're going to have 30 seconds to give him some uh, consolation. And after those 30 seconds are up, right. I'm going to have to move you out of the channel. And yeah. All right. All right. You have 30 seconds starting now. All right, Pat. The Mega Man block sound in most fan game engines goes by what name? Is it A. Sound Mega Man, B. Sound Trigger, C. Sound Zoom, or D. Sound Block Change? Well, in my experience, it's usually Sound Block Change because in the original fan game, I want to be the guy who was used in the disappearing blocks when they changed oh, from. Time. Sorry, Pat, he couldn't finish. Ooh. Like, get out of here. Oh, okay. So, in my experience... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> he doesn't know the rules. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no. I can't tell if he's joking <laughs> or not. Well, that's, that's the answer that he's given you. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with my boy Pat, and we're gonna say D sound block change. Final answer. Was Pat joking, or was he right? He was correct. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, Pat. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys might want to pay more right. attention to the timer next time. It's a little. Thirty seconds is a little bit shorter than you might think. Yeah, especially when you're watching the stream. Yeah, especially when you're watching the stream, and it's like, oh, I still have yeah. twenty-five. Okay, you've won $4,000. Now moving on to the $8,000 question, Wolsk. What is typically the maximum number of bullets allowed on the screen at once? Five, four, six, or three? Well, that would actually... I was going to say it would depend on the fan game, but then again, it does say typically. And, uh... I can say immediately, it's not three or six. Now, in the original, I want to be the guy. It was, in fact, five. However, from my time playing fan games, I can say that it is most likely four for most fan games. 
So I'm gonna go with uh, B, four. I'm gonna lock Locking it in, it in final B4. answer. Four. And hope that I'm correct. All right, our fan game's different from the original. I want to be the guy. You are correct. Eight thousand yes. dollars. All right, two questions away from that checkpoint. That thirty-two thousand dollars that can go to burying Wolsk's grandma. Mm -hmm. Desperately. Which I desperately need. All right, here's your question for sixteen thousand dollars. What does Rukito's "I want to be the GR" stand for? Giant robot, Gaussian regression, Great Race, Giga <coughs> Reduction. Well, I definitely remember last year. Um, we had "I want to be the GB," and R and B are very, very similar letters. Um, <coughs> Now it doesn't have gay no, as an what? option, which immediately really rules that out for me. Yeah, it probably should have. Um, Gaussian regression's looking pretty tantalizing, I gotta say, because I mean Rukido is a, uh, a very esteemed maker, and I feel like he's the type who would just wanna wanna flex his intelligence, flex his yeah, high I'd IQ. Say so. Um, a little echo. Uh, I don't know. I'll turn it down a little, I guess. I can't really fix the echo in my mic. I'm sorry. Now, I, I don't think it would be Great Race because I've seen the TV show Amazing Race, and that is just a different word. Um, but it is a game that is loosely based on Mega Man, and I know that the final boss of GR is a giant robot. So I'm going to go with a giant robot. Final answer. That's the right answer. Congratulations. All right. <clears throat> You've done it, and now we are one question away from checkpoint. So here is your question for $32,000. What is the end screen message of I want to be the catharsis? You are the catharsis. Catharsis is a lie. There is no catharsis. This is the catharsis. All right. Well, I have beaten catharsis twice, as a matter of fact. Um, I rolled it in streaks once, and uh, I got to replay that relatively recently. So I've definitely seen the end screen multiple times. Um, I have seen speed runs. And I have also very recently beaten CN2, and I know that there is a secret room, a punishment room in CN2 for catharsis. So I definitely know that there is no catharsis is the one that's used the most. So I'm going to go with C, there is no catharsis, final answer. Congratulations. Won $32,000. And you have finished the second third of the game with two of your lifelines intact. In decent shape, I'd say. All right. All right. And here we are at the last stretch of the game. The most difficult questions are coming your way. There are five questions away from a million dollars. And we'll see if Wolsk can reach that milestone. So here is your question for $64,000. What can the player use throughout the entirety of I Want to Be the Agent? Time Rewinding, Mouse Crosshairs, Speed Boost, or X-Ray Vision? Alright. Hmm. Now I have played I Want to Be the Agent. Um, I never beat it, I can say that much. Uh, because the final boss is actually impossible. But... I can say immediately it is not X-ray vision. That is very, very clearly not it. <clears throat> now I do remember the the. If I'm going by the final boss alone. Hmm. 
I know it has screen wrapping as an option. That's not exactly a power. Not so sure that 50-50 would help in this case, but I also don't know how many people in the chat would actually know this one, because I don't think Agent is a super popular fan game. You know? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a try. We're going to uh, see what the chat Alrighty. thinks. Alrighty. Button. All right, Wolsk is going to ask the audience. All right, Clayson's also got the Delphur thing sorted out. All right, audience, so nice. I am going to run a few commands to get you guys to start voting. Um, do not start voting until I do the V underscore start command, otherwise your vote won't be registered. Um, you can vote, I think it's exclamation mark vote and then a number or no it's a letter I think the bot will tell you but anyway vote uh, what you think the answer is not necessarily what the majority of the chat is saying there's no uh, reward for getting it right or anything you're just helping out Wolsk so try to get the answer right and we'll see what the audience thinks so again don't vote until I do V start And you can go. They are yep. pouring in. So the vote runs for 30 seconds? Oh, this is way too split. And after the 30 seconds are over, I will display the results on a graph. your results, Wolsk. Alright. Well, that was the one I was leaning towards anyway, so I'd say that that is a pretty good sign that I should go with B. Is that... So yeah. I am going to, uh, I'm gonna go with that B, mouse crosshairs, final answer. Thank you, audience. That was the correct answer. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Alright. You are four questions away from winning a million dollars. Here is your question for a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. That is a large sum of money. Wow! You can buy two coffins with that. That's yeah. <laughs> Which of these games is from the second short venture contest? Knight in shining armor, a minimal adventure. I want to grow up. I want to spread my wings. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Man, I could never tell you the difference between which games were in which short venture. That's a hard one. Huh. I like the smiley faces in chat. <laughs> Could I ask you how many short venture there contests have there have been? Okay. So I know that a minimal adventure is definitely more on the new side. And I believe the rest of the three were all released at the same time. So I was worried that there were three short venture contests, in which case that would have been much harder. But... Maybe I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> I think I gotta go with B, a minimal adventure, final answer. That's the right answer. 
All right. Nice job. All right. Oof, getting close. $250,000 question. Three away from that million. Let's see if we can get there. This is a pretty good first round, Wolsk. Which of these fan games is marked as impossible on Delicious Fruit? Torture, Melanzana, Just Trap, Hell Needle. All right. So the the real question immediately is, um, which of these did Inferno review? Um. <laughs> Now, the impossible tag does not necessarily mean that something actually is impossible. Because people can mark it for anything. That is true. Now, torture, I don't think would be marked as impossible. Because, uh, it's just a bad game. How could Skywalker Melanzana has clearly been beaten. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, it is... It is bad for Skywalker, okay. but still see, high see, standards for fan games. Yeah, alright. Now, Melanzana has been beaten by Mr. Bakudan, the absolute legend. So it's between Hellneedle and Just Trap, which are both games by Just, and he is known for making stuff that is definitely impossible or on the border of being impossible. If I recall correctly, now, if I recall correctly, Hellneedle has had to be modified to be possible, because I believe Yo-Yo has made a TAS of that before. Just Trap is very hard. Just trap is very hard. And it's basically TAS only, but I don't think it is impossible. Hmm. Do I want to go with my gut, or do I want to try and 50-50 it? It's all up to you. You're in some big money right now. You will lose a significant portion of that if you get this wrong. I don't know if you'll be able to buy a coffin anymore. Alright, I think I'm going to go 50-50 and pray that it does not give me okay. C and D. We will use the 50-50. It will remove two of the wrong answers. <laughs> okay, alright. Well, my gut was correct, because it is not Melanzana, so it's got to be D, Hellneedle, final answer. Correct answer. Right. $250,000 in the pocket. Wolsk is doing very well today, and we are going to move on to half a million dollars, half of the grand prize. The largest sum of money you can possibly win. Wow. All right, let's see the question, Wolsk. See if you can beat the famous new geezer himself. What game engine does Matt and Jay, creator of I Want to Be the Overlord, use? Is it Godot, Unity, Unreal Engine, or Click, Click Team Fusion? Hmm. Now, Godot does not sound familiar to me for an engine that's been used for fan games. Um, Unreal Engine sounds possibly, possibly overkill. So it would be between Unity and Click Team Fusion. So the real question is, would someone other than Camellia think Unity is a good idea for a fan game? And while I could say probably, 
And in fact, there have been people thinking that before. Hmm. I think it's got to be D, Click Team Fusion. All right, he's going for it. Does Matt and Jay use Click Team Fusion? He does indeed. $500,000, Wolves. <laughs> All right, I didn't expect to make it here on the first round, but I guess we have a smarty pants in the hot seat right now. <laughs> we have made it. <laughs> All thanks to my dad. All thanks to Kayan who fished you out of the river. Yeah. All right, can we get to a million dollars on the very first round? That would be... I don't know. It'd kill all the drama, but we'll see, Wolsk. Can you win it? Here is your question for a million dollars. The laser puzzles in I Wanna Ponder are based on what game? Chromatron, Chips Challenge, Loops, or Atomics? Now, right off the bat, I can say that I am in trouble on this question. As someone who has not played Ponder or any of the original games that this question's referencing, I can say that it is definitely one of the yeah, four it options. Probably is. Now I do believe the only one of these that sounds familiar that I have heard mentioned in relation to Ponder would be Atomics. I can't say any of the rest of them sound familiar for ones I've heard in relation to Ponder. You're thinking of risking it? You might lose all of your fake dollars. Hmm. Loops sounds the most like something that would have laser puzzles. Hmm. Oh man, this is a hard I final did question. Say I was amping up the difficulty. I wish I'd kept my 50 50. I wish I'd kept that 50 50. Not that it actually would have helped much, actually. Huh. I'm. Oh, my gut is leaning two different ways. I feel like because loops sounds the most like something that would have laser puzzles. I'm gonna go with C, loops. Final answer, and pray that that's correct. Oof, Wolsk is risking it all for the million, hoping to bring home those big bucks. Has he chosen the correct answer? No! It was Chromatron. Oh. I am so sorry. Uh, I wouldn't have had it at all. You know, you gave it a good effort. You you made it all the way to the end. You've seen all the questions. But unfortunately, you're going to have to leave us today with $32,000. I'm so sorry. But it, you gave it a good go. And thanks for being on the program. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I'm sure my grandma will enjoy her. There solid go. gold so coffin. You, you can you can buy some good stuff with that money. As opposed to the diamond one. But that was a real doozy of a last question. I'll say that much. That was brutal. That was brutal. But anyway, right. well, thank you All for right. being here, and we will transition off to our next contestant, who is going to be Piranha Tooth. All right. I'll see you later, Wolsk. 
Have a good one. All right. Piranha Tooth is our next contestant. Let's see if he can make it to the million dollars as Wolsk did. Uh, uh, he's Piranha uh, Peace Piranha currently really had to go to the bathroom, so he'll be back in a minute. Piranha Tooth will be our I'm next sorry. contestant after he comes back from the bathroom. He was holding it while he was watching Wolsk. He was holding it while he was watching Wolsk, so he should be here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bring him in here. There he I'm is. back. Bathroom. Not much. What's man. up? Wow, uh, so Wolsk he did really Wolf well. Did amazing, unfortunately, eh? he couldn't make it past that brutal million-dollar question. Dang, Dude, that was hot. That was I had no good. idea. I don't. I don't even know who would have known that, but we'll see. Anyway, here is yeah. Piranha. He's in the hot seat. He's hot. He's in the seat, and he is here, and he's playing. Yes. And he has a yes. wonderful. Let's do it. Silk hat on. Look at that. <laughs> Gentlemen, go. it's beautiful. Alright, Piranha, Set. you've played before. You know how to play. There's three lifelines. I have. And last time you played, you made it to yes. $2,000. It, <laughs> Let's go. Not it that was a valiant effort, sure but you were thwarted by Maxinator himself. <laughs> so, we will That's see right. if he can right. beat his old record and make it. We have no way to go. But, uh. All right, let's see how Piranha does on Millionaire. Let's go. Thank you. Here's your question for a thousand, one hundred dollars. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Please give me every every advantage you can. I want to be the buy. guy features what iconic food item in its first area? Delicious fruit. Bread, eggplant, or leeks? Ooh. I notice how you call it delicious fruit to avoid any conflict. That's very, very clever. Um, would be cool if there were, were eggplant. Would be, I'm sure, I'm sure the lit. community would be ecstatic over that. Uh, not the leeks, as much as we all love them. And bread didn't come along for quite a long while after I want to be the guy, so I'm going to have to go with A. Delicious Correct. fruit. Correct. $100. Nice. Nice. Alright. Everyone everyone knows the medley <coughs> game K3, but how do you spell it? Kermelia 3, Camellia 3, Caramella 3, Klondike 3. Nice. Oh god. Um. Well, I mean, God, I've seen this more than a few times, so it'd be a little embarrassing if I didn't know this. <laughs> um. I can see how somebody might pick Clock Three. It is a 3. tasty snack uh, but item. But thankfully, <laughs> I am a little, a little more well informed. So we'll have to go with B for this one. Uh, Camellia All right. Three. B is his answer. And it is correct for two hundred dollars. <clears throat> Moving on. Okay. Side Which of leaf. these people did not do a run at AGDQ? Witwix, Stonk, Kale Mandu, BBF. Okay. Um. Now it was actually very interesting to watch. I only watch. I only watch Stonk's one actually. Um. But I do know Witwix did do Boshi uh, quite a while back, and BBF did do Run the Marathon. It was actually very popular. I think it was one of the most popular videos on was. YouTube uh, for that event. Um, yeah, for that year, it was, I'm pretty sure, the most popular one. Very proud of that. Um, haven't seen Kale on there, unfortunately. Uh, would be <laughs> cool to see him on there if he ever came back to the speedrunning. Um, but yeah, for now, I think it's C, Kale. It's my final answer. <laughs> it's a shame the two snowballers are separated here. But yes, it is. Kale Mandu for $300. Very nice. Here is your $500 <clears throat> question. As the saying goes in the original I Wanna Be The Guy, the kid has bested fruit, spike, and what else? Miku? Gun? Dragon? Or moon? 
well. We know he definitely bested that dragon. Uh, spent many hours grinding that as a kid. Uh, very unfortunate I lost my save file doing that as well, but... Um, it did make the moment when I did get to the final boss all the more sweeter, and I would never forget it for the world. Uh, you know for a fact that uh, the kid has bested Fruit, Spike, and Moon. So there final answer is D. $500. Very good. On to the $1,000 question, yes. all of your lifelines. And if you get this right, you're guaranteed, bad, to guaranteed to leave with another $1,000 to bring home. What is the Good second three. stage theme in Run the Marathon? Action 52, Super Mario Brothers, Castlevania, Sonic the Hedgehog. Damn, I mean, I don't even know what Action 52 is. <laughs> Might be maybe too young for that, I don't know. Um, I really did enjoy second stage compared to the first stage. It was a breath of fresh air. Um, and yeah, I know this one is definitely Super Mario. Correct. $1,000 in the pocket. All right. Let's go. Yes. He has done it. And coming up. He's done coming it. Coming up is the $2,000 question, God. your biggest hurdle. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, God. All right. <laughs> We've got all three lifelines. Yeah. We can't we fail can this. Chuck those lifelines at this question until we get it. <laughs> all right. And also, Easy. last time, I did not give you the chance to introduce yourself. So, Piranha, why don't you say something for the audience? Something for the audience. Why don't you say something else? <laughs> no. Um, I am just like this dude who doesn't really do much, aside from watching uh, streams, chilling in Discord, uh, which might reflect in my performance here. I don't play a whole lot of fan games, aside from Avoidance. Um, but uh, we're going to give it a red hot crack, see what we can do. Been around for a good few years now, so hopefully it should mean something when it comes to fan game yeah. trivia. Uh, but uh, some people, specifically I'm sure now, knows all about my lack of memory, uh, forgetting the most important things at the most important times. So let's okay. see how that goes. Thank you. And here is hey, your welcome. dastardly... $2,000 question. Which of these lists has a fan game named after each of its members? Deadly Sins, Zodiac Science, The Solar System, Continents. Uh, give me a minute, I'm just going to wait for those questions to come up on stream here. <laughs> Uh, named after each of its members. Solar system. I mean, uh, I don't know if there's people named after that. Uh, zodiac signs. I mean, I don't even know what those are. Well, actually, I do, but I don't know the whole name of them. I don't think there's a very many zodiac sign games. Continents haven't really. Seen anybody around called Africa or America? Keep in mind this is Europe. fan games named after these items. Hmm. I'm gonna. <laughs> Audience, I need your help. I'm determined for that $2,000. Okay. We happening. need to get Piranha his $2,000. Let's go. Please. Please, guys, have some mercy. <laughs> Okay, here we go again. <laughs> Alright, audience, let's help Piranha Tooth. It's ready? Okay. You can vote for A, B, C, or D, and after 30 seconds, we will display the answers. So, you may vote. It is so. It is so. God damn. Alright. Sure. There's somebody called Venus? What? Oh, I just realized the question. <laughs> I did not need to use this. <laughs> no! God. 
Oh my god, I answered my own question as well. well I answered the question like... <sighs> can we just put C <laughs> no, and like... I made this graph, this I need never to happened. display it. <laughs> oh no. Of course. Ooh, it's looking yeah. pretty good for C right now. <laughs> Whew. Oh, I wonder why. Jeez. Okay. Yep, we're gonna have to go with C. Uh, let's not talk <laughs> about that. It's just, uh... I like whoever voted for B. Yeah. Just the one person. Well, actually, it was zero, but it can't display zero. Anyway. Congratulations, like you've reached $2,000. We've, we've done, done it. it. We've beaten yes. the record. Whew. Anything else is just a, a victory lap. I'm coming for you, Walsk. <laughs> All right, we are moving on to the four thousand dollar question, Verona. Let's see what it has in store. Oh, exciting times. In I want to figure which of these boys is back in town: <laughs> Bugs Bunny, Donald Duck, <laughs> Scooby Doo, Mickey Mouse. Uh, so I'm not good enough to beat figure um, and I also haven't watched many streams of it uh, I did see like some clear screens or some screenshots of it in the I want community <laughs> guy could be any one of these uh, I guess Scooby-Doo is the odd one out it's the only one that's not uh, in a classic Disney character I know how much the community loves the whole Shaggy and Scooby-Doo meme thing. It could really be anything. Uh, hey, we've beaten the 2000s, so I, I can just... I don't have to worry about anything that happens. And I'm determined to hold on to my lifelines. Um, should I make it to some significant milestone? Let's be honest, the chances are I would slipping away using your life at an alarming before. rate. Jumping at an answer <laughs> before. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, which one don't I need? I need the phone a friend. That that implies you need friends to to phone, but we'll get around to that problem. Uh, let's hit that fifty fifty. All right, let's take away two of the wrong answers. <laughs> uh, Bit of a delay here. Uh, okay. Um, if it's Donald Duck, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel betrayed, as a man of he ducks myself. Of ducks. Um, but I gotta go with my boy Scooby Doo, you know. Uh, and and if we're out, we're out. It's fine, you know. We're ever so slightly, you know. By the time Fangin Marathon 2030 comes around, I just might be a millionaire. So let's uh, let's go with C, Scooby Doo. I'm gonna lock, lock that in. Just lock it in. <laughs> Get <Tight>. him out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, 4K. Hey, I'm taking home the grand. Let's go. He has surpassed last year by there one go. whole question. I'll see you all next year when uh, we shoot for that. What even is it? $6,000 question. <laughs> it's 8000 but... You know what? You, hey, you gave it a, a red hot crack. I, I have very low standards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, that's alright. A oh, boys, boys, am I being exiled now from the community because I got. <laughs> oh, shameful. The man yep. himself. That's alright. My, my sole purpose here is to hype up Cracker to get the god run, so. Okay. That's what we're here for. All right, are we good? <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure losing for your all, all your entertainment. Well, we we've, we've enjoyed having I'll see you, you next here for year. sure. <laughs> Thanks for. Uh... Yeah. Hey, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. All right. I'm out. See ya, Piranha. See ya. <laughs> Alrighty. Next up, I believe we are going to have Naloa. If he wants to play, he can get in here. Can I get him? Here he is. Hello. Hi. 
Hi. Uh, I'm sorry, just look around people, I cannot fix the echo. Okie dokie. Let me restart here. Alright, here is Naloa wearing his quite British looking top hat, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. It takes a lot of work to make it shine properly. Shine a nice golden brown. Yeah. Alrighty, so I'm sure you've been watching, you know how the game works. If anyone's just tuning in, I'll remind him. Yep. Uh, I'll remind them, that is. Now is playing for a million dollars. There are 15 questions and two checkpoints along the way at $1,032,000. He can use three lifelines along the way, phone a friend 50-50 or ask the audience, in which the chat will give their input. So, I believe we will be going. As they say, let's go. Alright, Naloa, here is your question for $100. What color are the kid's shoes? White. Black. He doesn't have any. Brown. <laughs> Should I not be watching the stream for this one? I, I feel it like might. it has spoilers. You know, I don't think I thought this question through very well. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'll go with, uh, B Black there. <laughs> oh, you're right. A hundred dollars. Congratulations. Whoa! Here is your two hundred dollar <laughs> question. Which of these is a common mechanic in I Wanna Be The Guy fan games? Shell jumping? Wave dashing? Backwards long jumping? Oh, of course. Double jumping? Uh... I'm going to try to not do too much fluff commentary because Walt drags his period out further than he's going to be burying his grandmother, so <laughs> D double jumping. That is correct. But we don't mind a little bit of filler because uh, we are still quite ahead of schedule, I believe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. But thank you for your quick, quick wit. Moving on to the $300 question. A floor game typically consists of how many screens? 10, 25, 74, 100. I could imagine Giza making a 70 floor game, 74 floor game, because he does like to be different according to Nang. Uh, but typically, I'm pretty sure it's D100. That is the right answer. Okay, $500, here we go. What is the name of a reoccurring needle game series? Can forum admins, Snapchat authors, <laughs> Discord makers, Skype creators. Ooh, I like that one. It's pretty good. Skype is a pretty good program as well. I can imagine people one getting together and doing that. Superior program. Yeah. I mean, with the emotes they had on Skype, I don't see why anyone would disagree with that. So yeah, probably would be that answer. Except I think I'll go for C instead, because, yeah, yeah, seems probably. like a better idea to me. Alright, that is the correct answer. $500. Next up is your $1,000. $1,000 checkpoint. Here is your question. What was the year of I Wanna Be The Guy's release? 2007? 2009? 1969? Ooh. Okay, so I actually do remember a bit of discrepancy on this one. I vaguely remember the Wikipedia page having 2007 in October, I think it was, but there are a lot of people that are saying it was 2008 as well. However, I don't believe the game that was coming out for the 10 year anniversary was last year. I believe that was in 2017. Which would make the answer A two thousand seven. I was actually a bit worried one, about that one. You got it. Thousand dollars. Congratulations. It would that have been would have done worse than Piranha. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Well, thank you for finishing the first round and 
Now we're going to do introductions, I believe, if you want to say whatever. whatever. That's the same whatever. joke that Purina already made. No problem. No problem. I thought it was a very original one. It should be repeated just so people could really, truly appreciate the comedy in that statement. Tell us about uh, your favorite game, I want a classic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, I guess I can talk about that. Uh, I mean, if anybody saw it, there was an I Want a Classic race at the start of Fangame Marathon. I'm kind of known as a big fan of it as the only player that's actually managed to 100% that game, which is beating all the individual areas without saves. Because sometimes when you enjoy a game far too much, you want to play it in very stupid ways. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It's a, a game I really enjoy. There's a lot of variance in it, but I, because of that, I fully get why some people aren't a fan of it. It's very divisive, especially with some of the bugs in mm. certain areas. But I think it's pretty fun to just find the areas you like and play those. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm never very good at introductions. Okay. I'm sure most people know who you are. But there you go. I want a classic, a game for the ages. And we will move on to the $2,000 question for our friend Naloa. See if he can get up to that big ol' million. Wait, a million? I thought we were just aiming for 4K. If, if that's your goal, sure. <laughs> the cliff is a tongue-in-cheek way to refer to what fangame jump? F-jump, T-bone, ledge jump, 4.5 block jump. Hmm, I mean a 4.5 block jump is pretty tall, and cliffs are also pretty tall. Although I feel like a cliff would probably be more like a 4.51 block jump, because it would be taller than 4.5. 4.5 seems a bit short for a cliff, so I don't think it's that. Uh, pretty sure T-Bone's related to eating, mm. as we all know, because is. food is good. And, yeah. And we don't, we don't care about ledges, so I'm gonna go with A, F jump. Oh, you didn't say final answer, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, final answer. Sorry, final answer jump? Is that what we're going with? Is sure. that what the F stands for? Oops, I didn't. Whatever. Uh, you got $2,000. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is your question for $4,000 to surpass Piranha Tooth. Who made the Cuphead area in I Want to Find a Cure? Gay Wizard, Ooh. Eric, Smartkin, Wet Wookie. See, it definitely isn't Wet Wookie because that area is not creepy enough at all. If it's not trying to scare the pants off you, Wet Wookie probably wasn't involved in it. Uh, Gay Wizard. I know that he made the first area because of Wolfie's great attempt at completely breaking it in two. Where he knocked a shell through a block and then that just got it locked the in there for a while. I've ever seen. It was pretty good. It's a good clip. I think it's one of the top clips on the channel. And uh, I don't remember if Smart Kim was involved in Find a Cure. So, yeah, either way though, Cuphead's got that very signature style of Eric, so the answer's B, Final Eric. Answer. Final answer. Yeah, final answer, yeah. There you go. You got it right for $4,000. Congratulations. Oh my god, I passed Piranha! <laughs> this is the greatest day done. ever! <laughs> Here we go. For the $8,000 question, you have all of your lifelines looking pretty good. Oh yeah, lifelines. What, what do the black spikes do in I Want to Be the Pastel? Do they shoot cherries, target the player, move sideways, or shrink and grow? I can't think of a spike that shrinks and grows in any game. There's obviously quite a few that shoot cherries that target the player. However, in Pastel, the gimmick is trying to get past certain black spikes before they block you off. So the answer is final. The final answer is C. Move sideways. Correct answer. Eight thousand dollars. Congratulations. That is definitely a wolfy question. But too bad it did not appear on his round. All right. Sixteen thousand dollar question. Two away from that checkpoint. Which of the following creators did not help make Try a Collab Two? Xanto, 
Ooh. Polaroid. Yo, 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 dude. The new geezer. <laughs> okay, I believe the new geezer was involved in making some needle in that game. Uh, Polaroid is involved with everything, as we all know, for no reason. And yo, yo, what? yo, dude's a bitch. So, most likely the answer is A. Is, hey, I'm not the one that made that up, dude. The game told me it, so. It also said that peace is the best, but obviously the game is unreliable. So the answer is most likely A. Zanto. I believe Zanto helped out with Collab 1, but I can't think of a place where he helped out in Collab 2. However, I'm not entirely sure. Are you sure enough to go for it? Hmm. I don't think I am. So I think I'll try phoning a friend phoning on this one. Phoning a friend, okay. That's your decision then? Alright, yep. Nell is going to phone someone to give him the answer. Who are you going to bring in? Uh, I feel like I should probably go with someone that's got a lot of experience with Colab 2, preferably one of the makers, so I think I'll call in uh, Piece of Cheese 87. Ah. <laughs> Is that not allowed? Aww. <laughs> Aww. No, I set up the joke for that. Uh. Who else was involved in the game then? Uh, I believe. Can I invite Patrick in again? <laughs> Patrick, the popular man. If you, uh, if you believe Pat knows the answer, I suppose we can bring him in again. I believe Pat was involved a lot in Collab Two as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're gonna call Pat. All right. Yep, I'm gonna call Pat. I can. Hey, he's back. Okay, Making up for the fact that you're not actually a contestant this year. So uh, <laughs> just keep in mind that 30 seconds, once they are up, you are not allowed to speak anymore. So, you have 30 mm -hmm. seconds now to read the question to Patrick. Here we go. Which of the following creators did not help make Triacolab 2? Was it A. Xanto, B. Polaroid, C. Yo 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 Dude, or D. The New Geezer? It's Xanto. He was in Collab 1, but not in Collab 2. Ah, Polaroid okay. did make some stages in Collab 2, and so did Geezer. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure on Polaroid. Thanks very much. There we go. Yep. Yeah, final answer A. Xanto then. Time to go out. Alright. Yeah. Xanto is his answer. It is the correct answer. There you go. You are one question away from that checkpoint. Let us, oh let us boy. see if we can get there. I want to get the five stars as a stage with which Mega Man Robot Master as its theme? Centaur Man, Air Man, Charge Man, Drill Man. Um, I don't think I've actually played this game, and this is actually one I don't see frequently on Twitch either. So I feel like I'm probably going to have to go straight into another lifeline here. I just want to think about it a little first, because Air Man is obviously a very popular song, and it seems likely it would be that. However, I don't really feel the need to risk things when I've still got lifelines remaining. Otherwise, you're just throwing away an answer and losing your money <laughs> down to 1,000 again, Piranha. It's a shame you didn't know about the boys. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, I think I'll use my Ask the Audience okay. answer on this one. Audience gets another shot. They have a 100% win record so far. Let's see if we can keep that going. Uh, what is the command again? Here we go. All right, audience. 30 seconds to input your answer. Here you go.
10 seconds remaining. Alright. We have... Let me put them in here. Alright, here are your results. A little bit more split than usual. Yeah, that's actually quite close. Seems like a lot of people are running on the same theory I am, except there are quite a few people voting for D. Which I don't think will be a normal one, so... I'll, I think I'll go with the audience on this one, and final answer, D, drill man. Can the audience keep its 100% win record? Yes, it can. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that one. I definitely wouldn't have. $32,000, congratulations. You have only your 50-50 remaining for the last five questions. You're going to need some uh, some real uh, some real knowledge here. See yeah. if you can get to that Millie. Here's to hoping that all those years of watching random streams finally pays off. Technically, if you get this question right and walk away, you will have beaten Wolsk. That is true. That is yeah. true. I will be the best tonight. Okay. Moving on to the 64 grand question. In the most common Miku image, how far down does her hair go? Is it her hips, her feet, her knees, or her shins? Interesting. Interesting. You really do pull out all the stops for these, huh? Alright, well, right, well, her head definitely isn't as long as her... F I don't believe it's as long as her feet. That seems a little too long. Uh... I know it goes past her waist, so her hips are probably a bit too high there. Hmm... The shins are below the knees, right? <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, no, they're, they're below that, yeah. Hmm. Because after, staring... after all these years of staring at that Miku image, this is not something you generally try to remember. You just think, ah, yes, that side of the screen isn't safe. There are probably some avoidance fights where you can walk into her. Well, there's the one in classic, so, well, there the one in classic, so I'm very aware of that, yeah. <laughs> But you still don't try to remember exactly how far down her hair goes? I feel like it's her knees, though. Her shins seem too far down to me. I don't know, though. Her knees, knees seem a little too far down as well. No. I really don't want to use the 50 50 here, like you said, because there is five, well, five questions left. You really did pull out all the stops of these I questions, huh? Did say I made them a bit. All right. You did a good job with that, yeah. I hope Harris in the second one and see if you can pull off a second time millionaire thing. That would be great. So for me, it's basically it's between her hips or her knees. I'd say. And I really feel like her hips are too high up, so. I get, yeah, I may as well keep it because I'm already at the checkpoint anyway. And if I do get past this, then my 50 50 is going to be quite necessary. So I'll go with final answer of C, her knees. <clears throat> How far down does Miku's hair go? Oh, I'm sorry. It's her shins. Uh, it does it go down shins. that far. Damn. Ah, oh, that's yep. a shame. Well, at least yep. I'm good, uh, just as good as Waltz. Made it up to that third round, leaving with a decent sum of money. But thank you for being on the show. Now you've done a decent job. You know you've beaten Piranha Tooth. Yeah, I did do the impossible there. Yeah, I did do the impossible there. So there you go. 
Thank you for Thank being you for on the show. Me. You gave it a red hot crack, as Piranha would say. Okay. Um, let me see if. Wilson is just telling me to check something on my stream here. Uh, I don't believe I have any delay, Wolsk. There's no offset or anything. Alright, if we can get Wolfie, Wolfie EXE, to do the next round, that would be great. This might be the last round for the day, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Here he is, the man himself. How is it going? Pretty good, pretty good. <sighs> pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, been watching. getting warmed up. You've seen Massaging three, my brain. three heroes yeah. try to make it to the million. I, One I have. very brave soul and his grandma has made it all the way to the top but hasn't quite conquered the tower. Do you think you have a chance? No. I think I do. Alright. I think I do. We'll, we'll see. Give All a right. good old college try. Wolfie's the, in the seat the looking like session. Sherlock Holmes. That, that is, is him me. in real life, everyone. That's how I'm sat right now. That, that's how I'm sat <laughs> right now. on your chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, uh... For anyone worried about the estimate, we are way ahead of schedule because Faz is run, so that's why Millionaire is dragging on a little longer than it should. But it's okay, I have a lot of uh, questions still lined up because of the uh, second block. I can just make more if I need to. Okay. Alright. Uh, so here is Wolfie. He's in the hot seat, and there are 15 questions for the million. You have a checkpoint at 1,000 and 32,000. You can phone a friend, ask the audience, or use your 50-50 at any question you wish. And mm -hmm. if you make it to the million, I will be impressed. So, here we go. For I will be $100. Soon. The great Wolfie EXE, who delivered us this fantastic defeat the robot run earlier. <laughs> what obstacle might you encounter while playing an I Wanna Be The Guy fan game? Spikes? Snakes? Hispanics? Boulders? Uh... Alright, well... I... well... I've, I've seen three of those. One of them I haven't seen yet. But one of them I've seen more often than not. Um... And that is Spikes. <laughs> Fine, Lanza. Here you go, a hundred dollars. <laughs> Still waiting on seeing the third one. <laughs> Haven't seen one in your whole life. <laughs> Maybe in the blind race game, we'll see. Alright, two hundred dollar question. How many plane jumps are there in I want a 50 SGTK riser? 50? None? 500? Or 5? If, if there was like 51 off or like 49, I'd be very scared. There's like it's like a trick question, but I'm gonna trust that whoever named the game is can count and say 50. Final answer. That is the right answer for $200. Congratulations. <laughs> I was actually scared. Do you think I would throw a trick question as the second one? Well, well, yeah. You said it was gonna be hard. No. I thought maybe it'd be like a trick question in there. Moving on. All right. What does the kid wanna do to Kermit? Fondle. Destroy, kill, poison. Oh no. Well, to my knowledge, I, d I don't believe he wants to fondle. No, would that be allowed in the vast majority of, of uh, streaming places? Yeah, and destroy and poison potentially, but I think the primary goal is to uh, to kill the Kermit. So, see, final answer. For three hundred dollars. All right, two questions away from that checkpoint. In I Want to Be the Guy, the road to the guy has music from what game? DuckTales, Contra, Sound Voltex, Aladdin. <laughs> ah, yes. 
I, I remember a whole new world playing on the way to the castle. Well, I'm, 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 I never, I haven't actually played. Uh, I actually haven't played any of these, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the moon, which is uh, from Ducktales. Uh, so, yeah, final answer, I think. A, I think. <laughs> That's right, five hundred dollars. I think. <laughs> I'm being sure there's no trick question. Because <laughs> that's the kind of thing I'm going to miss. It is. Uh, okay, moving on. This is the question for $1,000. You will be guaranteed to leave with one grand if you get this right. Which of these fan game players is most closely connected to I want to be the brute of a man? Is it JGB Master, Gaboro, Inferno Man, or Kanata Knight? Um. Well. <laughs> oh man, I. Well, haven't Kanada and JGB both beaten it? I I don't think Gaboros. Well, I mean, he might play it. I don't think I've seen him play it. And as far as I know, Inferno hasn't beaten it. But I thought I remember seeing JGB grind the water plant save, and I'm pretty sure he beat it. But I think Kanada beat it first. Wait, am I reading this question right? I I don't know. I I'm sure like they've both beaten it, but I think Kanata was the first one to beat it. I don't want to use a 50-50 already. Because I was I was immediately thinking of JGB, but now that I think about it, Kanada did beat it first. I think. I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with Kanada. The final answer. Yes. There you go. Tricky one, that. That's such an evil question. It is. It is a tricky question. I can throw in some uh, some doozies there, but you got it. You got it with no that, that lifelines, was a doozy. so that was a doozy. makes no difference. There you go. Smarter than you look. It's more nerve-wracking than, than I thought it would be it being is, on this chat. It is, yeah. The pressure might get you. Really brings it out. <laughs> it already has. Anyway, Wolfie is here, and he will now say something about I himself. I will. I will. I will. Hello. All right, we will move on. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> no, All right, no. that, that was good. What are you gonna say? Uh, I, I, don't <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm. I am. Yeah, that is me. I I stream fun games on Twitch, a lot of the time. Forever doing my challenges where I play games of like varying difficulty genres, etc. Do play the wide world of fun games out there. And uh, I've been playing. I don't know. I've been playing. I guess a lot since like 2016. But I guess I played fun game back in like twenty, like two thousand and nine or whenever it came out. So I, yeah, I'm like vaguely connected with the early days, but I had like big year gaps here. So and there. you're kind of like Pat in that sense. And it all led up to this moment. Oh yeah, I guess so then. In and out. But yeah, all right. Here I am. On the, the on the greatest, greatest chair of all. all. After all these years. Yeah, this is the a very rare clear. If you uh, get the million, you can add it, add it onto your challenge, and you will be one of the two people to it's ever true. clear this game, just behind Melanzana. <laughs> I didn't realize it how was, prestigious it was. It was quite prestigious. But it here is. we are, going for the two thousand dollars. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. I am. What year was Delicious Fruit founded? Was it 2015, 2014, 2016, or 2013? <sighs> uh, <laughs> okay, um... Uh... That is a, is a good question one. piece. That's a good question. It is a good question. Unfortunately, this doesn't quite huh. fall into your uh, 
<laughs> presence in the community. Uh, this, the story I was just uh, uh, the story I was just telling sort of contradicts this question. Uh, uh, well, I I feel like it. 2013 sounds sort of too early. At the same time, I feel like 2016 is too recent. Uh, having said that, I actually don't really know. <laughs> My, my, my initial guess is 2015, but I would be afraid to guess. It's it's got to be 2015 or 16. I don't think it was that. I don't think it's that old to be 14 or 13. So I could 50-50, and then if it leaves either A or C, then it's probably one of those. If it if it leaves both of them, then oh boy. then I don't I I won't know what to do at that point. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Is is it is a fifty fifty completely yeah. random? No hijinks, no no hijinks going on behind the scenes. <laughs> okay, I think I'd like to use my fifty fifty. Alrighty, let's see what it gives you. <laughs> yeah, any second now. Okay. <sighs> okay. There's no way it's 2013, because that's so long ago, it's like six years. So... I will go with a 2015. <laughs> Final answer. Yes, right answer. Oh my god, <laughs> the pause! <man. laughs> Alright. You had to uh, use a lifeline, right. but right. you made it. It was a hard one. There are one. a few hard ones. There's a few here. hard ones. So you may have gotten one of the harder rounds. Yeah, it's it's quite a hard seat, isn't it? All right, next up, hmm. the cursor in Mouse Wheel Three displays okay. what word on the screen? Eddie, what? Uh, help. Ah, uh, I should know this. I've played this game. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think if he made this during the Eddie Cruz. I don't know if he did. Dude, these questions are so hard! And Stong's streaming, so I probably can't phone a friend him as the creator. I don't know. Well, 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 maybe. I. I mean, I, I, I'm leaning towards that because I, again, don't actually know. This is a very difficult question, I <laughs> feel. Because I played it, but I don't, I don't even remember there being a curse. Oh, I guess there must have been a curse because it's the mouse wheel again. Uh, would I be able to, like, fall in the stonk? Um, is, is there a way I can, like, get a, get a cold of him even though he's streaming CM3 like, at the moment? If you can, like, get a chat message in his stream, maybe? Well, I'm, I'm just... I mean... What, should, should I be the one to do that? Because... I, I would, it would be funny to get him in here while he's streaming, though. I think that'd be pretty good. Uh, I'm, just, I'm scared to go in there in case like someone says like an answer all or something. Like I don't want to read any chats that that on um like this one. I also don't think he's in the FM Discord, so I'd have to invite him. Okay. <laughs> oh no, he isn't here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I really oh, don't know this. He's in general. I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> Hello. Oh, well, then... <laughs> what's up? It's your boy. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Mr. Stonk, Wolfie XE is having trouble on a question, and he needs your help. He needs, he needs your help. He needs my help. I need your help. He needs my. All right. Help. Yes. I'm listening. My ears, my ears are wide open. Uh, you're gonna have a 30-second timer. Wolfie's gonna read off the question to you, and you're gonna tell him what you think the answer is. <laughs> oh fuck! I feel like I'm gonna get it wrong. Sorry. Sorry I, for I hope you don't. I will be surprised you if you don't. Or if you do, that is. No. Wait. I'm confusing myself. Anyway, your 30-second timer begins now. All right. Okay. Stunk. The cursor in Mouse Wheel 3 displays what word on the screen? Eddie, what, uh, or help? I, I'm i gonna go with help. 
What do you mean you're gonna go with help? You made it. I'm gonna go with help. I know you it's help. It. I'm gonna go with help. I have to say it like that. What is? It's help? not Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so you're pretty sure it's help. All right, get out. I know it's help. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Go! All right, that is... is All right, well... Play. Well, uh, I mean, like, if I had 50-50 here, I would have 50 50 maybe, and then if help was left, I might have gone with that, but I couldn't be sure. Oh, okay, we'll go with help. The final answer. He is right. $4,000. You got it. Oh my god! Three questions away from that checkpoint. I can't believe you knew that. This is quite a difficult round, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, it's talking... <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. These are really, really are. not easy questions, are they? Um, yeah. yeah, let's see if you can get this next one. What was the name of hmm. the first fan game engine? Was it Yo Sniper's Engine? I Want to Be the Guy Maker? I Want to Make the Game? Or I Want to Be the Engine? Uh. <laughs> mm, mm. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd be very surprised if it was my my good associate Yon Cipher. So I'm. It's probably not a. I haven't heard of any of the others. No way. I. Okay. D rings a bell. I think. Does it? I think it does, but I, I have, I've never heard of I want to make the game. I, I've never seen that combination of, of words before. And I want to be the guy maker. Uh, I'm, lo I'm looking at the answers and D looks correct to me, but I don't, I couldn't, I wouldn't know. But I don't know if I want to use the audience. That would be your final lifeline. Already? Yes. Yes, it would be. Dude, these questions are so hard. For me. I'm, I'm very tempted to go for D. Because if I use a lifeline now, then I have nothing left for the next potentially like yeah. six questions. Uh. I just, I've, I've never heard of I want to be the guy maker before. Oh, I want to make the game. That doesn't look right. It isn't, it isn't C. Dude, if it's A, I'm, I'm gonna like, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna... Gonna lock in D. Final answer D. Correct. Thousand dollars, the relief. <sighs> I was... Oof. I wasn't sure about that. Alright, your question for 16 grand. What is it? Alright, easy question, let's go. Which of these Spook Jam creators has not made any question. other game? Piranha Tooth? Rainius? Polaroid? Cosmic Sense? Well, who was... Wait, okay, so... Right. Well, the only name I don't immediately recognize is Rainius. Cosmic Sense is made in Perishable Night, I think it was called. Polaroid is made uh, Scramble and Micro Medley, maybe some others. Piranha Tooth, he made something for the first short venture, I think it was a day thereafter. Which leads me to believe it should be Rainius. Not only do I not immediately recognize the name, but the other three all have made other games. So I, I would go B, final answer. Alright, is that correct? Yes it is. Getting an easier oh. one there. I knew it. He knew it. I knew he that knew one. It. Somewhat. All right. Moving on. <laughs> the did. next question is the checkpoint. If you make it here, you are guaranteed to leave with $32,000, and you will have tied Wolsk. And uh, now, <sighs> well, let's see what it is. Which of, which of these games has a tile set used in the first Crimson Needle game? Chirach? Hades, Neon, Quo Quo Quo. Uh, 
Ooh. Well, it, okay, it isn't it isn't Hades. First of all, I, I don't remember the core 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 tile sets. Um, I, my immediate thought was Church, like a pink sort of tile set. But I'm not sure if I'm thinking of CN2 or just a different game entirely. I don't believe it was Neon. So I'm sort of balancing between Church and Core Core Core, but I'm, I'm more so leading towards Church. Uh. Hmm. Oh, was it Core 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 though? <laughs> I wish I had my 50 50. It would be useful, wouldn't it? It would be. I, I don't even remember where I used that now. It feels like so long ago. Uh, uh, it was on the uh, Del Fruit question, I think. Right, yeah, okay. I, I wish I could, like, visualize the screen in my head. <laughs> Because I actually I don't remember a lot of Shurash tile sets now that I'm thinking about it. I remember the yellow one, and I think there's a pink one as well. And the pink one is where I'm thinking CN three uh, CN users. But Coco Co probably has a lot of tile sets because it's like a hundred floor game. Machi so is Shurash. <laughs> oh, what? I see Gay Wizard in the background there. He's cheering you on. <laughs> uh, I really don't want to use my lifeline already. <laughs> I'm gonna go find Lancer Air Charge. All right, risking it. Has he got the chocolate flapjacks? Yes, he does. Oh. 32 grand, congratulations. Ooh. That was... that was tense. <laughs> do you know? Do you remember it what tile set it was? Was it, was it a pink one? Oh, okay. So I did have some vague, oh, okay. so have some vague memory of it. Whew. Kale will be yeah. proud. Alright, you made it past the brutal second round. Now going into the... the agonizing it was third brutal. round. This has been insane. <laughs> oh yeah. Five questions away from that million. It's a great descriptive time. Do you think you can make it? I still have a lifeline. Still got a I lifeline. I still have a lifeline. I think he can make it. All right, let's Made see it what this we far. got. For $64,000, here's your question. What was the name of the original sequel to I Want to Be the Guy? Was it Save the World, Save the Game, Save the Kids, or Save the Girl? I think that I played this uh, back when I was playing I would be the guy back in like 2008 or something and I, or 9 I don't know what year it was and I remember on his website he was he had like a demo of Save the Kids where I think you like led them around and it was only like a really it was only a pretty short game because I remember that but I don't the other three don't ring a bell to me at all so I'm Almost certain it's Save the Kids, final answer. Alright. Save the Kids. That's correct. See, right. maybe it's getting easier. <laughs> maybe. The <laughs> agonizing round is the easy round. Alright, we made it up to the $125,000. Four away from the million. You got one lifeline left. It's not the worst shape you could be in. Alright, here him. we go. How many blocks span the width of a typical fan game room? 18, 25, 22, or 32? So what's the stance I'm using pen and paper? If you wish, you may. <laughs> I feel like it might help me, hang on. <laughs> um, Alright, so a typical room is about 800 pixels wide, and a block is 32 by 32. So that's uh let's have a look. 
So, I mean, 640 pixels would be 20 blocks. Um, 160 would be uh, 5 blocks? Wait, 32, 70... Wait, I can't count, hang on. This is this is like a good line of reasoning. Math though. major two. Or math major three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's slow two six four nine six one two one eight one sixty. Okay, so six forty plus one sixty equals eight hundred, which is the amount of pixels a room is. So twenty plus five equals. 25, which I am hoping I haven't miscalculated. <laughs> I am gonna go with 25 for the final He answer. did the math. And he he got it right. Live on FM. Congratulations. Whew, three away from the million. Well, you know, I had my doubts at first, but yeah. we've made it. Made it to the last three questions. <laughs> we're, ma we're making it. We're good. Here's your question for a quarter of a million dollars. The 2015 avoidance tournament game has an extra avoidance with a song from what franchise? Transformers, X-Men, Star Wars, Harry Potter. Uh, I didn't know there was a 2015 avoidance tournament game. <laughs> <laughs> So, my initial assumptions are non-existent. Um, <clears throat> what was most topical in 2015? I don't think Star... Was there a new Star Wars film out in 2015? I feel like it wasn't really... That probably doesn't matter. I feel like X-Men doesn't really have iconic music. At least not that I can think of. Or Transformers. Like Harry Potter has like the classic... You know, the, the classic song. As does Star Wars. Um, I'm trying to jog my memory. Ah. Because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm sort of leaning towards Harry Potter, but I. Actually, mm, no. It, it, okay, I'm leaning towards Harry Potter or Star Wars, but I actually have no idea. So, I hope that the audience will. Okay. I'm gonna use ask the audience. Well, if he's using his last lifeline, the audience is gonna get a shot at answering the quarter of a million dollar question. Um, I don't know. Okay, shadows did the thing. All right, here we go, audience. If you think you know the answer, vote away. Okay, that's... I'm immediately seeing a pretty overwhelming majority, but... I think people are trying to tell me that it's Transformers. Oh, one guy definitely is. Oh, the only thing I can really imagine is it's like... Like a pan... Like a pan flute version of the Imperial March or whatever it is, but... I, I, I don't know it, I don't think. Okay, I will put the results on here. It's looking pretty okay, well, good for C. Well, yeah, it seems like a pretty overwhelming majority of people knew this. Or at least one person knew it and everyone followed the crowd. But, um... All right. If it isn't C, I I will draw every Star Wars movie poster in MS Pen. So I'm gonna go final answer C Star Wars. I was playing film. the song on the stream. That's two hundred and fifty oh, thousand dollars. Thank you, audience. What face from Geezer, uh, as a, as appropriate. <laughs> I remember watching him grind that for a long time.
All right. You've made it to the half a million dollar question. No lifelines left. What do we got? Good question. From top to bottom, left to right, what is the starting order of the demons in the Crimson Boss? Blue, green, yellow, red? Yellow, red, blue, green? Green, blue, red, yellow? Or red, yellow, green, blue? I feel, I mean, my initial instinct is that red is at the top left, and there's only one that has red at the top left, which is D. Because I'm pretty sure whenever you do crimson... Oh, no, wait, hang on. Wait. wait. Yes. I, I'm trying to... Because you jump up and you shoot both the demons before you, like, climb up properly. <clears throat> uh, no, I'm, I'm... I'm fairly sure red is at the top left. I... <laughs> I, f I feel like I wouldn't be able to, d to d deduce this any other way other than my initial assumption. Um, from top to bottom, left to right, so... As in, red's top left, yellow's top right. <clears throat> Green would be bottom left and blue is bottom right. I, th I think that's correct, so I'm gonna go D, final answer. Is it? Red, yellow, green, blue. No, it's A. It is blue, really? green, yellow, red. Damn it. <sighs> if you remember, the yellow and the red oh. demons are on the bottom, so you get to shoot them as you're jumping up at the start. See, that's what I was thinking, but I thought, See, that's what I was thinking, but I thought I was oh, thinking of it the wrong I'm way sorry. around. Which I guess... I that was. was a real toughie. <laughs> But yeah, it was. You uh, that was a bit of a tricky one. You did pretty well, well honestly, honestly, considering uh, you struggle with a few early questions. You made it all the way to the half a million question. Yeah. Uh, no, that was it was, okay. was okay. That was all right. It was okay. All right. Unfortunately, none did of our contestants could. today have conquered the million, but we have had three out of four get the thirty-two k, which is decent. Um, we might have to stop here, I'm not sure. It looks like uh, the next run is approaching, and we might not have enough time for the next one. But, Millionaire will be back on Sunday, so be sure to tune in for that. It will be uh, at a later time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This was very fun to do. Uh, so please come back after these commercial messages.